The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show with an announcement, and that is that we have Shane Smolian as our guest at the half hour. Uh, we are closed uh, Thursday and Friday here at TFN, but we'll be back on Monday, and hopefully we're going to have Tim Bost as our guest uh, on Monday to start out the uh, last week of November, getting ready to move into Christmas time. Now, I posted a chart. The first one today, folks, is the chart from Mr. Z when he bought coffee a few weeks ago. You can see where it is now. It's just going, you know, ballistic to the upside. You know, he follows the weather and all the technical patterns, and those are the kind of information that you get when you're a DEN member here. But, uh, you know, it's just really a move that's just, uh, just that's really a heck of a move. And, and the risk there was so small. The key there is you'll notice that 61% retracement, how it went through it like it didn't even exist. You know, that's the main thing that you got to remember that these patterns, when they fail, and when they fail, they're going up uh, quite a bit. I've got a few charts to cover, and then I wanted to, uh, people have asked me to walk through uh, the euro situation and also the crude oil, I'll be happy to do that. But I do want to share with you a few charts sent to us by some of our friends. This one happens to be from our friend over, hold on one second, in just a second over there in Cairo. And uh, hold on one second, we'll get this up here. Now, this is the platinum chart. Uh, he's in the platinum business, plus he's a speculative trader. Uh, this happens to be the NASDAQ. I'm sorry to say that this is the one I wanted to bring up. He's a platinum trader, but he's also he does the NASDAQ also. Anyway, you'll notice here what he's watching here, are these parallel lines here. Uh, and remember, this is a, a daily chart, so it's broken through that line. I'm going to walk through this to show you what I think is happening. We went up, we made a new high, as you can see, and then we've had this big reversal. Uh, that's dropped quite a bit. Now, here's all I want to do is I want to show you what I'm looking at from my perspective, looking at just only Fibonacci numbers and the simple stuff that, that I uh, that I follow. Because I believe that uh, simplicity trumps uh, – I hate to use that word. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it's okay. It, uh, it overshadows uh, – what do we call it? Uh, complexity. All right, here is the – NASDAQ, folks, since the high was made. We talked about this. The first 382 was up there at 16,600. Last night, boys and girls, last night, to the tick, it hit the exact 382 again. That's the third time it's done it. 16,358, and then we've come down a little bit. Now, why did it stop right where it stopped today? Well, if you did anything, if any work with the Floor Traders Handbook, you would be able to know that what it was doing and remember this, this is the day before, the day after the holiday. Black Friday is the most positive up day in the stock market. It's up better than 75% of the time over 100 and some years. Folks, when it's not up on the day before, uh, the day after Thanksgiving, look out Monday morning because that puppy is going to come down. So it's got, you're looking at Friday should be an up day. It's only half a day. But by golly, it has a lot of statistics behind it. Now, if you'll look at that uh, chart that I just showed you, notice we took out the low of the previous day. Now, we didn't do it in the Dow. All the Dow did this morning was make a 61% retracement of the low we made on Tuesday. That's all it did. And all of the S&P did, it came down and made a 78% retracement of that. So there was a big divergence there when the NASDAQ was making that low. Now, hold on just a second. Someone's asking a question. Yeah, the, the Monday is a down day after Thanksgiving for many years. That's what the, the real key there, Mr. Bill, is if that if it's not an up day on the day after Thanksgiving, that half a day, uh, then that means that Monday will probably be down. But remember, we're we're still in a long term uptrend, short term downtrend, so you could flip a coin on that. That's why we try to rely on the patterns of what we're 
what we're paying attention to. So let's uh, let's be ready Monday. I, I think that uh, we're going to have some real. We're going to have great volatility in 2022. I think it's going to pale what we've seen in 2000 and. Uh, in 21, but we'll do you know one thing at a time. Now, here's something that I I did want to walk through, and that is about the euro. Let me get this up here. I I probably had five emails about this, and I want to get this up here to bring it up to your attention here. Okay, here's where we were back on the 11th of November. You'll see we had a really beautiful uh, three drive to a bottom pattern, and it was uh, it was setting right there at the 50% level uh, on the euro. Uh, our recommendation was to buy it at 114.61 and to get out of it in 114.46. This is a four-hour chart, folks. So when you're seeing that key time there, that is a day and a half. In other words, a day and a half. The reason why I bring this up to you is the fact that, look at this, you have a beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern, and you make this really tiny, quiet rally over a, a two-and-a-half-day period period basically and it doesn't even make any type of a ratio look what happened folks when it broke now the reason why i'm bringing it to your attention is because several people you know drop me uh, emails and say what do we do what do we do and all i said hey look it's a 150 dollar risk you know i'm leaving my stop in because it could reverse at any moment and of course about a minute after i sent the email out the market collapsed and has continued to go down there's nothing wrong with that now, the reason why I'm trying to give you this information here right now is because this particular pattern, just like this, was one of the things when I went to Chicago uh, back in 1982 to trade on the exchange. Barry Lynn said, what can I do to make your, uh, you know, stay here in Chicago more more profitable and fun? And I said, look, if I've got a, if I've got a, a, a loss at the end of the third day, just take me out. Don't even don't even ask me to, 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 to cover the position. Just have the, the computer, you know, send it down to the pit and get me out. Well, it happened four or five times over my period of time there in Chicago, those three years. But they think that, that remember is these patterns, when they work, folks, they flat work right away. Perfect example was gold when it hit that, you know, uh, 18, 79, 78 percent level. Same thing in the in the crude oil. We'll cover that in just a minute when we hit seventy five dollars a barrel. Uh, yesterday in the crude oil. So all of those, they usually work right away. So if you're in a trade and it just keeps going sideways, get very nervous because these things usually work right away. That's the key to what we're looking at. Now, as you can see here, the market's coming down here. We, we're below the 120 level now or 112 level. And so we're, we're, we're expecting a bottom coming in here. And also around the first of the year is when these currencies have major, major implications for, you know, highs and lows. So we're looking for a lower, uh, a beautiful ABCD pattern down here. I think it's down around 111. And uh, that's all I'm looking at. The other reason is, is after we broke that level, the dollar index just kept going up and up and up. And it's it got 96, 96, 80, I think we've hit today, folks. You know, we were looking at it at a 382 at 96. You know, you can't stand in front of these puppies. You know, that's, a, that's the bottom line. And, and that's what patterns are for. When they don't work, get out. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at DFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked to walk through that trade we did this week in the crude oil. Uh, the first chart I posted, as you can see, was a beautiful ABCD pattern on the daily chart. You can see it quite clearly. Uh, AB does equal CD. You'll see the retracement number comes in there right around 70, right at $75 a barrel. And all I did was I said, okay, let's take a look at this thing to see where we could get the best possible entry. That was the second chart which was the 135 pattern. That's where you have higher bottoms. That's the one we got from Roy Longstreet and his son Bill. You got the first ones are your 618. The second one could either be 618 or 786. This particular time in the crude oil, it was right at the 78% level. And then, of course, the announcement came out they were going to release oil from the stockpile, which would ordinarily be considered as bearish. But for some reason, the market considered it as being bullish, and we had a strong rally. Now, the $64 question is where to take profits. That leads to question number two. Stop and think, folks. You bought something at $75.60. The low was $75.32. Okay, so you're out a couple hundred bucks. Now you're up three grand. Okay, now, first of all, you're coming into a holiday. All right, that's question number two. Question number three is are you in any major ratios up here at that $78.60 level? And the answer is yes. You're at a 78% retracement of the previous move. You're at a 1.618 expansion of the move of Monday and Tuesday. And here you are, I have a weekend coming up. So we suggested that you take the profits at that, book the $3,000, and move on to that level. Now, that that I'm just telling you like it is. So I just want to give you the, you know, the skinny of what I think is happening. 
Now, the next question someone asked is, why do I uh, bring somebody? I posted the uh, YouTube thing, uh, one hour YouTube from Larry Williams on his trading, Trader Lion that he was on the other day. The reason I'm not promoting Larry Williams, he happens to be a friend. And by gosh, if I would promote him, he's one of the people that I would promote. That guy's given so much to this business with uh, the mechanical systems that he has and all the information that he's that he's given us. And he's in a super trader. Oh, my God, this guy, he's for real boys and girls trust me on this one anyway in that i did it for two reasons one there was something in that video that just he if you noticed that when some well, the guy said do you ever average losses and larry got very emphatic and he started laughing and put his hands up in the air he said oh my god he said that's the absolute dumbest thing you can do and that was one of the reasons why i sent the youtube out there is because the way he reacted to it that painting behind my my wall number two is never never add to a losing position. Number one is when in doubt, get out. And so that's that's what you know, just simple, you know, simple things, just common sense things, right out of the reminiscences of a stock operator in the in the work by uh, Bernard Baruch in my own story. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, get out of there. And believe me, I'm I'm there half the time, so I'm staying there, not doing very much. When I see something to do, then I'm going to do it. But that's it. The other thing in that, in that video that was very important, he mentioned, because it's been in the news over 50, 40 years ago, was during that crash of 1987 and time preceding that, Larry had an account, and I happened to know where it was, uh, where it was uh, stationed, that account. In fact, I happened to know the broker that was involved in that account. And Larry ran 100 grand up to 2.2 million, okay? And in two days, he ran the 2.2 million down to $775,000, okay? Then the, the, the account was closed with a $675,000 profit. The guy left 25 grand in the account. Okay, because because he was going to uh, start again at twenty five thousand dollars. Well, what Larry didn't tell you, I don't even know if I should tell you. Anyway, he ran that twenty five grand up a lot because it was right during the time of the crash, and he happened to be long bonds, and it had a heck of a run. And he's like Tom Hugard, you know, if he buys something and it goes up, he doesn't even think of selling it if he's right. He buys more. He just keeps pyramiding and pyramiding till it's till it's wrong, and then he'll he'll give back 30, 40, 50 percent of what he's made. But uh, many times, you know, it just keeps going, and that's what he does. He presses. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't do that style of trading. I did it a few times in my career, pretty good. But frankly, it's a, it's a little nerve wracking, and that's not what I'm about anymore. I'm about looking at really low risk trades. And, uh, you know, trying to set them up so that I don't have to risk very much. So that's why I send that stuff out, the video. It's not to promote him, even though I would, uh, you know, so I uh, he, he just got some great information. I would do it for for anybody. He also, he mentioned he mentioned the uh, the painting with uh, Steve uh, with Steve Cohen. I happen to have uh, Steve as a guest here a few years ago. We had a mutual friend and he was in the area and he came over to visit me just to say hello and uh, he ended up spending the, the whole day with me. He had a great time. A super nice guy. Great personality. As humble as you can possibly get. But boy, is he intense when he trades. Boy, the way he thinks is just, uh, it's really amazing. He thinks in terms of, when we talk about this all the time, is how much do I have to see if I'm right? And that's exactly how he thinks. Uh, anyway, let's move on to a couple of things we uh, we should cover here. we got Shane Smolian coming up. Let's look take a look here at the German DAX. You'll see here that it's also had a pretty stiff uh, correction here uh, these last couple of days here this is just an hourly chart you see we've broken down now we did stop this morning at the 61 percent retracement of that low uh, back on uh, November the 5th but frankly it's it's with that strength down it pretends uh, more of a movement to the downside as uh, what I'm looking at right here so uh, we'll, next one we're going to look at here uh, is the German DAX. We'll get this up here. It's been stronger, as you can see, and it's had a little bit of a counter trend bounce today. Now, folks, I'm going to give you my two cents worth and for what it's worth, all right? There have been a little under 6 million people have died of COVID out of 7.3 billion, folks. That is not a pandemic. That is a bad case of the flu, and I know it's bad, and if you've lost a family member, 
my sympathy goes out to you. But when they're locking down these countries like this, like Austria and probably Germany coming up next, that's baloney. And for the German health minister to say the only people that are going to be be around are those that have taken the uh, the vaccine or the people that have died. I mean, for him to say something like that, give me a break. You know, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, there's just numbers. You know, 30, 40, 50, stop – I'm off my soapbox, boys and girls. I want to wish everybody a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, by, I've just been reminded by my CIO, my my CEO, that no politics. <laughs> okay, let's move on here to the next one here. That anybody has any question here? Uh, uh, say it's about Cirrus, uh, Larry Large, Larry Large Traders. See, it's all about Ciro's. What is your opinion? I don't know what that means, Ruby. What do you mean about Ciro's? I don't, C-E-R-O? You mean Euros? Is that what you're saying? No, I, I don't know what that word Ciro's is. Euros. No, no, I don't know anything about that. The Euro the euro is the largest traded thing in the world, folks. I mean, that's got to, they trade a trillion dollars. I've been in these, I've been in these uh, trading rooms of these Citibank and, and uh, uh, over at Swift, Credit Suisse in Switzerland. I've been over to London, and I've been in those large trading things, the Moro Securities in London. And uh, believe me, they're, they're, they they do oh my God, trillion dollars a year in euros. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Shane Smolian will be our guest. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even
even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have the wolf trader, Shane Smolian, on the line. Good morning. How are you today, Larry? I'm still living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass, keeping that dream alive. Best way to be. Well, first of all, happy Thanksgiving to you and everybody. I hope everybody's having safe travels today. And we've got this light volume shortened holiday week. So um, I'm going to talk today about uh, the about few a few markets, but I want to start out talking about uh, the concept of the a portfolio. Uh, it, so one of the things that I think is important with with markets is to diversify your positions, but on, not only diversify your positions, have different trading systems diversified. Uh, so we have multiple trading systems that we use here at Wolf Trader, ranging from Fed juice to dollar juice to double lunar cycles. So what I've done in the recent weeks is we have enough data now, published data, uh, that we can actually put this together now and create what I call portfolios of trading systems. Now, most of the time when you think of a portfolio, uh, you think of, hey, I'm going to be long, you know, XYZ stock, Broadcom, Tesla, Caterpillar, whatever. Most of the time it's long positions. But what this is, this is going to be a, uh, a look at a portfolio of a trading systems, which is always going to be uh, long and short positions. Uh, much like a portfolio, this is not going to have targets or stops, but you're going to smooth out the profit curve and reduce your risk by having multiple positions, uh, trading small and diversifying. So this is the core of, of a portfolio. And um, so I, I want everybody to think of a portfolio as, as a unit, like one thing. And when you get a portfolio, many times the whole is greater than the parts. So uh, instead of just looking at one trade or one symbol, we're going to look at how they all do together. And because it's, it's always in, uh, these positions can hedge against each other. So this is going to be an example. I talked about this in the webinar last Saturday. Uh, but this is going to be, if we looked at all of the Fed juices on a portfolio, what would it look like if you took every trade long and short uh, on the the Fed juices? So the first one that I'm going to look at here, this is going to be copper. Uh, this is this is the performance of copper across time. Going back to about uh, almost two years ago, it doesn't look that impressive. There's a first part here where it falls low and then it spikes up here later on. Uh, but it, in of itself, it doesn't look that impressive. But when we start to look at other symbols, when we start to look at silver, this is the silver Fed use. Silver Fed use did a very different pro uh, profit profile. This one shoots up in the beginning and then kind of runs flat. Uh, so it, the, the interesting thing about this is they're making money at different times. And so this is what we want to see with a portfolio. We want to see them uh, performing different at different times. When you look at gold, the Fed use of gold is the best Fed use performing. If you took every long and short trade, this is how it has done uh, based upon all of our published data. Now, I'm going to take all of these together and create what I call a portfolio. And if you look at this across a, a quarterly view here, uh, this is what you get. You get a much more smooth curve. If we look at this across a monthly, this is what you see. If you look at this across a weekly, this is what you see. And if you look at this across a daily chart, this is what you get. So by combining these different trading systems together, uh, you get a much smoother looking profit graph. And, uh, and then we can actually analyze the statistics of the portfolio. So this is really the end game of where I've been going with all of this, why we have all these different trading systems, because now we're going to be able to, to talk about portfolios. Like if you combine these trading systems, this is what they've done. And we can, we can give you know, very detailed statistics about how they did. Uh, different ratios. I mean, everything you would want to see will be able to be here. So this is a very interesting uh, step that we're moving towards now with these trading systems. And what this does is this allows people to combine them together to say, hey, if I put these three together, these Fed uses together, this is how it does. Now, Larry, you know that we've been looking at the double lunar cycle. Uh, this is a relatively new system. We have about eight or nine months of data on it, but I just want to kind of go through this just to show 
Another example, if you combine these different systems together, what does it look like when you get a portfolio? Uh, so the first one here, this is the S&P uh, 500. This is the double lunar cycle here. Uh, this is a, a long short uh, trading system. Uh, and you can see there is a, a pretty big drawdown here going back into this is like early September, but then it, it makes it back up. So when you look at just one system, you can get this volatility. But if we look at Bitcoin, uh, we see a, a much cleaner curve, but the drawdown comes at a different time. It actually comes early in the system here, which is what we want to see. We don't want to see them having drawdowns at the same time. Uh, the 10 year bond is, is also similar to Bitcoin a little bit. We had a drawdown here. Uh, but keep in mind, these are all published uh, uh, signals. This is what we publish in the newsletter. This is what comes in the newsletter. So this is not a hypothetical you know, scenario or a back test. This is what we published. And so this is why I'm, I want to focus on this. So if you put these together, uh, this is what it looks like on the quarterly. This is what it looks like on the monthly, uh, weekly, and then the daily. So you can see that when you combine the different systems together, you get a much smoother looking curve here. Uh, and so to me, this is the ultimate uh, I ideal situation by taking multiple systems, combining them together, creating a portfolio. So you get a, a smoother situation. So this is more for uh, just kind of a longer term outlook, not so much short term trades where you're trying to find support and resistance, but it just creating to taking these systems together and saying, hey, well, what would this look like if I put all these together and I took every single position? That's that's what it would look like. So. I just wanted to start out with that because we're moving in this direction. My vision is to have multiple portfolios. So uh, there could be 20 different portfolio combinations that you could look at on the site to say, if I combine these systems, how did they do across time? This is the actual history, the published history of these systems. So this is something that I think is really important. It's a different way to look at the market from just doing small, small trades where you're you know, buying from support and resistance. But nonetheless, I think this is a powerful tool uh, and these trades last anywhere from three to five days. So this, these are longer term swing trades. These are not very short in and out type of trades. So anyway, I just wanted to start out with that uh, just to kind of share that with the viewers that that's something that's going on. And I think that's really the future in terms of reducing volatility and coming up with situations where if you're not sure about what particular trade to take on what day, if you just took all the trades, this is how it would look. So uh, hopefully that's clear with how I put that up there. So. Yeah, uh, it's a very good, very good portfolio analysis. I think you're spot on there. And not only that, but when you're doing that, uh, you're diversis diversifying your risk over a whole lot of different things. And that's the whole key to being successful. So I think that's a no brainer for you. Yeah. And there's there's different ways to control risk. You can have tight stops. You can trade smaller positions. You can trade options or you can diversify mm -hmm. and trade small, which is what this is. Mm -hmm. so this is why I like this. You could also apply this to ETFs. Um, for example, this is S&P, Bitcoin, and ZN. This could be the SPY, this could be the new Bitcoin ETF, and this could also be the TLT. So the beautiful thing about um, uh, ETFs and stocks is that you could trade one share or five shares or 10 shares or whatever it is because they don't have, there's no more commissions. If you look at a lot of these big brokers now, they don't even charge you commissions for, for the small uh, ETFs. So this is why I think it's exciting uh, and you can really start small with this and just kind of follow it across time. But so far they're doing very well and, and, and they should average out. That's the whole point of this. You can't expect any one trading system to be mm -hmm. perfect all the time, but by diversifying, this is, this is the, the basic idea here. Okay, folks, we'll take a break here. We'll be back with Shane Smolian, thewolftrader.com. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, the WolfTrader.com. Shane, we have a question from one of our listeners in Georgia, and the question is, how long do the effects of this big eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse that we had on the 19th, uh, how long does that effect last? We will get there, Larry. We're get, we're going to get there in the next few, in the next few slides. Uh, it's it's okay. probably for a Ten couple four. more days. I'll I'll get into that, and that's a very good question. I think everybody wants to know that. Uh, it was very impressive that uh, the market declined on a holiday week. I mean, usually that doesn't happen. Uh, but the Fed taper, I just want to go into this very quickly. There is a taper coming. It's actually started already. Uh, they're, they're reducing the bond purchases and the mortgage-backed securities. This is going to be continuing probably until late uh, June. So the thing about this is that this is taking the fuel away from the Fed. Uh, this is causing the Fed internals to already start to plunge. I'm going to show you that in another chart. Uh, and each month that this occurs, the chokehold is going to become more and more uh, on this S&P. Uh, this is a cumulative effect. And um, like I said, they, they're they doing about $10, 10 billion in Treasury cutback, $5 billion in mortgage-backed securities. So as they start to choke back on this, the market's going to really start to feel the headwinds. Uh, your question, your caller called in about the lunar eclipse. I, I talked earlier on your show about this. Uh, this was the longest-lasting eclipse in over cent in centuries. Uh, and it occurred on your descendant, on my ascendant. Uh, but eclipses mm -hmm. tend to be attractors before and a negative after. And that's exactly what happened. The market rally is almost exactly up. Uh, there's no Fed overnight uh, when the market when we hit this eclipse and then the market plummets right after. Of course, there was all all these different types of oscillations that occurred. Uh, but to answer the question of the caller, this is what it should look like. Now, I, I, I held this information back on your show because this was for subscribers, but we're pretty much done with this path now. 
Uh, the eclipse was on the 19th and uh, pretty much for about five days or so after five to six days it, de it declines so the, the 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 low is projected to be uh probably around tomorrow which is a market holiday uh but uh you know that it did it was pretty impressive that it actually played out this week because, because this is usually a light volume week it's usually positive uh and the fed has a very strong hand on light volume days and light volume weeks they can really uh have a a, a very powerful influence now, when we talk about the S&P 500, I'm going to give you a summary here. This is just how I see the market. Everybody has a different vantage point, but this is just how I see it. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is my perspective. I'm following data and evidence. Uh, this is not just a feeling that I have or or whatever. This is I follow the data uh, and through a very scientific process. So based upon the data, the Fed internals, the S&P is in a bear market. And I'm going to explain to you what that means. Uh, some people might say, how can you say that the S&P rallied? I'm going to show you why, because what I like to focus on here is the evidence, not what I think is going to happen, not what could happen. Uh, the short-term bluff that we saw from the October lows is over. Uh, I talked about that in, a, in, a, in a, an update video or, or a seminar, that this was a bluff. They, the Fed just slammed this back up on the short term. Okay, Now the Fed taper is here, and it's a cumulative chokehold. It's going to be cumulative. Each month it's going to continue to cut down each more and more each month. And the Fed internals are, of course, sinking. Uh, that's the biggest thing that we have to look at with the S&P. That's what I look at. That's how I determine this is a bear market. So the S&P is now facing headwinds. And uh, the selling in bear markets is swift and decisive. So understand that that uh, the selling can come very quickly. Uh, we saw that in the last couple of days. We saw some really strong intraday spikes. But that's I think that's really just the, the warm up here. Uh, because price is making such a strong negative divergence with the sinking internals, uh, I think the selling will appear to come out of quote unquote nowhere, but in reality, it's been eroding under the surface. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the chart of the internals here. Now, this is the key data that we follow uh, for what I consider to be the bear market. I think the bear market starts back here. And I talked about this and I know, look, everybody's got different opinions and definitions, <laughs> but, but my definition is based upon what is going on here with the Fed and the internals. And this is when they really start to pull back. Now, you can see there's a channel here. There's an upper channel. There's a lower channel. And the Fed internals are staying within this channel. Now, we start to get this first sell off here. Uh, then the Fed responds very quickly here. Uh, and then we come into this next low and they keep responding. There's a market holiday here where there's no Fed use. The market starts to fall. Then they slam it back up. We have int record intraday highs into here. You can't see it because there's a zero, right? Because they had to come back from nothing. Uh, but then they start to decline again here. And my my theory here was, look, if this is really declining, as it should be with a taper coming, this upper channel is going to hold, and they're going to start to pull back. And, I, and that's what they did. So they pull back here. There's another banking holiday. Um, notice the market comes down. It pauses again. And then they shoot it back up again one more time. But notice they're staying within the constraints of this channel because there's a taper coming now. So their playbook is shrinking. I mean, not the playbook is shrinking, but the ammunition is shrinking because the the fuel, which is, uh, you know, the, the the these bond purchases and all of all of this stimulus is decreasing now with the taper. Uh, so we're starting to see this divergence form now, where you're getting this divergence and in the internals down, and you're starting to see the market now start to come down. Now it is a market holiday it's like volume this thing moves all over the board on a light holiday but the main thing that i focus on by keeping my eye on the ball here is this this is this is the big story right now because this chokehold is going to continue to get deeper and deeper as the uh taper begins so you know this to me this is a serious thing i mean i i, I don't i don't see the fed internals continuing to go higher uh, I said that back here. I said this was temporary short-term strength. They did a good job of getting this off the lows. Congratulations to them. But the, po the point is the market can't do anything without the Fed. And this has been my thesis since 2009. I follow this stuff. I track it going back. It's, there's never been a time where the Fed internals pull back and the market keeps going up. That just doesn't happen since 2009. And so this is why I'm, I'm just urging caution to everybody that this is a time to be careful just be careful, okay? Don't assume that this is the same situation that we saw back in the summer because it's not, uh, you know, or before, before they start pulling back. This is a totally different situation right here, and I think people need to be careful. I mean, and that's my, my biggest thing. I'm just trying to get the word out to people that th things are not always as they seem. 
Things are not always as good as they seem, and we need to be extra careful now uh, with this S&P. Here's another look at this on a different chart uh, showing the channel again. Uh, but again, this the Fed internals are starting, they, they've been declining, and on the short term, they are starting to roll over. I do think we're in a bear market, and I think the selling is going to come very quickly when it does start to come, and it's going to take people by surprise. And so I just want everybody to be careful out there. That's my, my biggest word. You don't have to be short, but you don't have to be overexposed to the long side either. So that, that's my basic word here about the S&P. Well, that's certainly concise and right on the point, as near as I can tell, because uh, – I'm seeing things that absolutely scare me, and I'm fearless. So, <laughs> well, we'll see. But, you know, we look at these stocks, they're so far up in the air. The thing is, if there's really nobody out there on the tubes warning anybody, I mean, usually there's two or three soothsayers out there. Uh, I guess they've given up and nobody's watching it anymore. But this is where you could see volatility lists literally explode. And I don't mean to the upside, we've already seen the explosion on the upside. There could be some pockets of uh, illiquidity coming, and I don't know if that's what you're seeing here, but that's what I'm seeing. I, I think that's possibly happening, and especially in the cryptocurrencies. You know, I look at these charts, don't know anything about the cryptocurrencies, but I do know charts. Can you stay with us for another sure. minute or so, Mr. Sure, sure. Shane? We'll be right back, folks. Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, the Wolf Trader, 
dot com. Shane, I have one other question from one of our listeners down in the sunny state of Florida down there by you, and that is, do you see a C-R-A-S-H coming? Uh, it's possible. I mean, I, 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 uh, I'll, I'll save that, that strong language for the subscribers. I think the subscribers know how I feel about that. I do feel, though, that the S&P is – there's – look – let me just let me just summarize it like this. Let me simplify it for everybody. We don't need cycles. We don't need any of this Astro stuff. All we need is for the Fed to pull back and the market will fall. And the Fed's pulling back. So I'll just leave it at that. I mean that that it, it is going to happen. The taper like this is the thing I feel these are facts. This is evidence. The Fed is mm -hmm. the taper is here. It is mm -hmm. pulling back. The internals are falling. That bluff that we saw in October is over. Uh, so there's not one time when the market has gone against the Fed since 2009. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but I, I feel very strongly that we are in a bear market. So I don't want to ruin people's holidays with with such strong language. Oh, no, no, <laughs> you, you can't you can't ruin the holidays, my friend. The other question we have from the same listener is with the fact that the young lady is now going to be a vice chairman, Bernard. Will that affect any of the policies that are going on? Is uh, Powell running the show? Powell's running the show, and she came in. They put her in as the vice chair, and they took her out of a regulatory position. I think the the banks like that because she's more she she's more into banking regulation. She, her, she's not so much a slam dunk. Powell's a slam dunk. I think that was the right choice from the beginning. I don't know why it took them so long to do that. He was the right choice. Uh, but Brainerd is she's a little more controversial. She's donated she's donated to political campaigns. I believe it was Hillary Clinton. She's so a lot of times senators they don't like to see that. Uh, so she, you know, her her nomination is not a lock, uh, but they took her off of the regulatory committee, which is, I think, what the banks wanted to see. That's why there was a sigh of relief about that. But, um, you know, she mm -hmm. she is more into banking regulation and the, the banks don't like that. I mean, so uh, I think it's kind of the best compromise between the between the both of them to put her in as the vice chair. But she, she's a little wow. more controversial. Hey, Shane, happy Thanksgiving to you and your happy family, my friend. And we'll see you next time on TFNN, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Goodbye, folks.